we're going to work on problems with how to calculate the payment once you know how much you're borrowing for a loan. We use two formulas. PV represents the present value or the amount of the loan. The PMT formula represents the amount of the periodic payment. So let's get started and see what we have. Suppose you finance your car with a loan of $12,000 at an interest rate of 3.5% compounded monthly for four years. You make equal payments monthly. How much will the payments have to be? So the amount of the loan is the $12,000. The interest rate is 3.5%. The time is four years. In order to be able to calculate the amount of the loan, we are going to use the M, the number of payments per year. The I is the periodic interest rate. The N, which is the total number of payments. And finally, the payment. Because it is compounded monthly, we're making 12 payments per year. The periodic interest rate is always equal to the nominal interest rate, which is 3.5%, divided by the 12. That tells this gives us the payment per month, the interest on the payment per month. The N is the number of payments, which is the 12 payments per year times the four years. Now we want to calculate the amount of each particular payment. The easiest way to do this let me try that again. N is equal to the 12 times 4. I rushed too much. Don't do that. The periodic payment, whether you're having a Mac or a PC, you can always go to the FX. You're going to go to the financial. You want to find the PMT, so you can go down to PMT. And I'm scrolling, and I'll be there in maybe another 30 seconds. And once we get to the PMT, and I know you can type it in and get to where you need. I'm almost there. Okay, and now we have our periodic payment, which is PMT. Now remember, whenever you're dealing with the rate, the rate is always the periodic rate. Therefore, we're going to click on the cell, which is, has the I. The N per is the N. The present value is the amount of the loan. And again, because money is a liquid asset and you want to see it as a positive number, you go negative, the $12,000. You notice that the rate is both in two locations on the template. So we're going to pay $200, $268.27 per month. Let's try another problem. Here, a business borrows $200,000 at the interest rate of 7% compounded quarterly for seven years. We want to find the amount of the quarterly payments. Well, because we're borrowing $200,000, the interest rate is 7% per quarter, uh, per year. The number of payments in the years is seven years. Because it's quarterly, we have four quarters per year. Again, in order to calculate the I, we take our 7% divided by the 4. Now we're going to calculate the number of payments over the 7 years, which is equal to the 7 times the 4. So we have 28 periodic payments. Again, we can go to the FX. And I don't have to scroll all the way down. I can go most recently used. And we see we have the PMT over there. The rate, again, is the periodic rate. That's the I. The N part is our N. The present value is the amount we borrow, which is the $200,000 for the company. And lastly, we get our response notice in two locations. And the company has to pay back $9,096.30 per quarter. Now let's go to something interesting. Let's calculate the amount of the interest paid over the life of the loan. So to calculate the total amount paid, we take the payments times N. And because it's rounded to the nearest penny, it will be slightly off when we click on the cell. So we go to the payment times the 28, which tells us that the company paid a total of $254,696 and approximately 48 cents. In order to calculate the interest paid now, we're going to take the total amount paid minus the amount of the loan. So therefore, we have the total amount, which is a little bit over $254,000, minus 
minus the two hundred thousand dollars that were bought that was borrowed. And what did I click on incorrectly? Well, oh, I said times instead of minus. Don't do that. And therefore, the interest paid on the loan is fifty-four thousand six hundred ninety-six dollars and forty-eight cents. Next question. If you have $750,000 in an annuity paying 4 and 7500 percent interest compounding monthly, how much can you withdraw each month for 20 years? Now, because you're withdrawing the money, the amount that we have in our annuity is automatically going to be changed to a present value. So you're using exactly the same formulas you used for the present value. And now I'm going to just going to copy the information we have over here. All right, so I don't have to type in all those letters. Because when you're withdrawing the money, the a formula we need to know is how much you can withdraw. Now we're going to take the 4 and 75 hundredths percent. The time that we're drawing is, is for 20 years' time. Remember, we're withdrawing it on a monthly basis. So it's per month, therefore M is equal to 12. The I, again, is going to be the 4 and 75 hundredths percent divided by 12. The N is going to be the M, which is 12, times the T, which is 20. So we're going to get 240 periodic payments. We want to find out how much we can withdraw each month. Again, we go to the FX. We go to the PMT, which is recently used. The interest rate is the I. The N per is our N. The present value is the amount we have in the annuity, which is $750,000. And therefore, on a monthly basis, we can withdraw $4,846.68.